Ironic yeah. because Dan Bilzerian literally operated and ran into, into the ground Ignite, which was oh my god, unlike crypto, crazy. an industry where you could like they're basically shoveling money to you. They're like, oh, you're gonna sell weed products right now? Please take all of the money on the planet mm -hmm. that we can give you. And yet he still fucked it up because he was using it as his personal bank Dude, account. Fuck Dan Bilzerian and taking all these loans, taking all of these loans to like operate this CBD THC company called Ignite. And just using it to basically like rent out his house and and hire promotional models, and it fell apart. Mm -hmm. He could, and he, it was only trading in the Canadian stock exchange because his father is a financial criminal, mm -hmm. and he's it is illegal for him to trade in the uh, the American stock exchange. Do you know my story with Devil's Area? No, oh, dude, I fucking Ooh, hate hell, we got a story. Give me a story. Story time. He's the only celebrity that I have active beef with. Him and okay. some dude named like Tim Dillon or something. Whatever. Okay. Um, oh, fuck Tim Dillon. I fucking hate that guy. Who's Tim Dillon? Fuck you, Tim Dillon. Some podcaster who like said I was like talentless because I asked him for Alex Jones's number to, for an interview for the movie. Still did the interview. Alex Jones and me are friends now. Fuck that guy. Okay. But anyways, I don't want to start a bunch of beef. Just so basically, I had been covering this party promoter named Lucci. Okay. Hopefully you can pull this up. He, I met him at the Sausage Castle in Orlando. Sure. He like owns a party company called like Late Night with Lucci. He's a cool dude, whatever. Okay. But he's like he is like a crypto bro, right? And he owns like a mansion in Vegas. He rents cars. He has promotional models. He throws big ass parties. Okay. There's an old 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 viral video of mine. Hopefully we can like add it or something like that. Sure, sure, sure. We're just talking about lifestyle, bro. What about it? We do ridiculous shit in Las Vegas. We throw parties, very crazy fucking parties. It's like Dan Bilzerian style parties, but like people that went to Dan Bilzerian's parties tell me that my parties are better. They're just smaller. How could someone like me get into your party? You can either pay two to five hundred dollars, and then you would get a bottle of Vuv or Dom Perignon, depending on which package you purchased, or you bring seven girls to one guy. Every girl comes in lingerie down to the theme, and they have a great time. There's no fighting, there's no drama, there's no nothing because everybody's just like, "What the fuck is going on here?" Cheers. You have a catchphrase? No. You need one? No. Dan Blazarian's got a catchphrase. What's his catchphrase? I'm the fucking man. I'm Dan Blazarian. No, it's not. Yeah, that's what he says. No, it's he not. He goes, I'm the fucking man. I'm Dan Blazarian. The girls go, oh my God. That's terrible. No, that's what he says. That's trash. Okay. Anybody can see that. What if he sees this? What if he sees it? I don't know, bro. Huh? Uh, huh? All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So you know that part where he's like, uh, we throw parties, like you can get a bottle of Uber Don Perignon, depending on which package you purchase. He's like, we got hot girls. People are just like having sex all over all the time. It's fucking epic. Yeah. So by the end, in that video, he goes, we throw like Dan Bilzerian style parties, but better. Okay. And so me with the platform I have, I posted it. Dan Bilzerian was like, this is so funny, dude. Like I want to, I want to meet this guy. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, this is before Dan Bilzerian lost all of his money. Right, right, I was right. like, how funny would it be to bring Dan Bilzerian to this guy's party? Guy meets Idol. It's to be the funniest like meeting yeah, of yeah, all yeah, time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, inspiring Dan Bilzerian is brain. surprised. Yeah, yeah. I was content brained at that moment. Yeah. So I go to Vegas. This is before all gas no breaks blew up. I go to Vegas. I'm texting Dan Bilzerian. I'm like, hey, man. He's like, you want to work out? I'm with Steve Aoki. You want to come over? So and so. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> He's like, that is the fucking <laughs> dumbest. Bro, you want to work out? Yo, you wanna work, yo, no one hits traps like Ioki, dude. Nobody. So I, I have the whole camera crew come out, Nick and Evan. Yeah. You know, we get all this equipment. We have this whole thing planned where Dan Bilzerian's going to walk into Lucci's house party, and Lucci's going to be like, holy shit, it's like the man. Yeah. And it was going to be amazing. It was like a real, like, all gas, no breaks, like, in depth thing. And uh, so we're waiting. Dan Bilzerian's like, all right, I'm going to come. You know, like, I'm going to come to this party. It's going to be fun. Waiting hours and hours and hours, right? Everything's ready. Dan Bilzerian said he's going to come. Had us fly out. He sends me a text. I have this text to show you guys. It says, bro, think I'm going to go smoke and bang these girls. And then blocks my number. Wow. After What a fucking yeah. piece of human excrement, dude. He blocked Fuck your Dan number? Bilzerian. I mean, he sucks so hard. That he is... He's so dog Dude, shit. Dude, he was so tired from working out with Steve Aoki. <laughs> and me, I was like, I was upset. I was trying to get my content out there. I had engineered this master you plan. You flied. You, you flew there. I flew there. Wow. Where I drove the RV there. Jesus 12, 14 God. hours from wherever the fuck I was at. Like, That's crazy. Austin. Were you just crushed? Yeah, dude. I was like, fuck, man. That was going to be so awesome. And, and what about Lucci, dude? <laughs> what about had, our boy we Lucci? We ended up making a good video. Yeah. But I, I'll never forget that text. Every word, bro, think I'm going to smoke and bang these 
girl thing. I'm just like every every word is just was worse than the last. It's just yeah. from Tattooed beginning with eyes. bro to saying I'm gonna go smoke. Like it reminded and he me blocked of your number because I would call him a few times and I was like, yo, I left him in voicemail. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you know, you're you're a grown man. Stay true to your word. Like, we're trying yeah. to make something happen. Well, he's washed. So that happened after. And I was like, yeah, I knew that would happen. Mm. Yeah. You know, you get. I mean, he's a, he's a liar. He he's a, he claims to have made most of his wealth from a poker game that he played where he won $50 million. This is impossible. He's also <laughs> participated in like real poker tournaments and real poker pros have made fun of him for how bad he is. Really? Uh, yeah. He's decent, but like not. I mean, it's the it's the single largest like gain I think from a poker tournament ever, if I'm not mistaken. If it's like fifty, it would be dollars. more than like a World Series of Poker. Yeah, right? and so what most likely happened is his um, his uh, financial criminal father uh, transferred some of like the uh, hidden trust they had uh, over to someone who lost in a poker event to Dan Bilzerian. So he's like real sketchy to the core. Oh, 100%. Always has been. I didn't dude, know it was that crazy. Dude, his dad, his dad literally went to jail for financial crimes in America. There's like two things that you can do in America legally, okay? Financial crimes and <laughs> and campaign contributions. If you're going to jail for illegal campaign contributions, you're a fucking idiot. Same with like <laughs> same with like financial crimes. It's like the one golden rule is like don't fuck over other rich people. Yeah. You know, Bernie Madoff uh, if you if you violate that rule, yeah, you'll go to jail. But if you don't do that, as long as you fuck over poor people, you can do every financial crime you can. They will not prosecute you. It does not matter. Obama didn't after 2008. <laughs> like, it literally doesn't matter. And this guy still did it and still went to jail. And, you know. I'm saying it, dude.